What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today I'm smoking up a rattlesnake. Woo-wee! My oh my. It was only a matter of time before I got my hands on one of these suckers. A beautiful Diamondback Rattler. Three and a half feet long, just under two pounds. I am excited to smoke up one of these bad boys. A lot of people deep fry rattlesnake. You can smoke it, then fry it. You can just fry it, but I'm smoking this rattlesnake right here. Man, I just can't stop like touching it. Rattlesnake has some great meat. There's not a lot on it, as you can probably imagine. You have all the ribs going right down the whole snake. A lot of the good meat is right on the inside as it goes along. But the meat you do get off of these snakes is so good. If you like stuff like gator, frog legs, you'll love rattlesnake. And this is gonna be a fun cook. We're gonna have some fun with the rattlesnake. I have some stuff here for a marinade. We're gonna stuff it a little bit before we put it in the smoker. So let's get started with the marinade. Get yourself one of them mixing bowls. I got a nice hefty glass of Weizwein. Then I have about three quarters of a cup of Italian dressing. Gonna go great with that white wine. And then I got here some bad juju, Cajun blend seasoning from PS Seasoning. Already got a tablespoon measured out here. Gonna add that nice kick to that rattlesnake. Mix it on up with your hands. Mm -mm. We're just dropping a rattlesnake right in there, yeah. Push it down, make sure it's nice and submerged. You want all of it covering that rattlesnake. It'll look something like that. Looks good, smells good. From here, we're just gonna take our snake, put it in the fridge, let it marinate for two to four hours. You can go overnight, the longer the better. Then we're gonna take it out. I got a couple things I'm gonna mix together and stuff our rattlesnake with, so stick around. So we're right at about the four hour mark with our marinade for our rattlesnake. So while that's finishing up, I have some stuff here to make a stuffing. Look, you can take a rattlesnake, brine it, season it, throw it on your grill or smoker, but that's too easy. And I wanna do something a little bit different, a little bit special with our snake. So I have here a pound of hot sausage, a few banana peppers, and a whole rabbit. So I'm gonna go about 50-50 with the sausage and the rabbit, throw the banana peppers in there. You can throw your rabbit in a meat grinder and make it a little bit easier, but it's really small. It's just under a pound and a half. So I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit, mix it all together. Then we'll pull out a rattlesnake and get her going. So move this to the side, get yourself some gloves, start easy with the peppers, get your cleaver, chop them up. Nice, chop them on up, get them nice and small. I only use two of my peppers, but that's okay. Move them to the side. And then we have our rabbit. I'm not gonna make this more difficult than it needs to be. Just gonna chop up the legs, get some meat off the tenderloins, chop it up nice and small, mix it all together. Get right down in there. Get the other one. That's gonna be some of the best meat from the rabbit right there. The other leg. Nice. There we go. Got some meat hanging off the sides. And got some nice meat. Oh yeah, split her up. Nice. Have some good meat off of our rabbit. Look, I'm sure there's a proper way to do it to butcher a rabbit, but that's not how I do things around here. That's okay. And don't waste this. There's still some good meat on here. Put it to the side, put it in a broth. I love making rabbit broth. Now you're just gonna get some meat off the bones. Do your best, pull off the meat again. I'm saving this all to the side. Use that for later and just chop up the rest of your rabbit meat. I got some more here, gonna pull right off the ribs. Very nice, so I got a good 
pile of rabbit meat right here. Again, don't waste your rabbit. Perfectly good meat, cook it up, fry it up, throw it in a broth, a stew. Then get all of your other meat, make sure there's no bones. There's a good amount here to mix with our pork sausage. And we're just gonna dice it up into chunks. Very nice. And after a few minutes, a little bit of patience, you have some pretty decent rabbit meat. Again, you can throw it right into a meat grinder, make it easier on yourself. And I'm just gonna take pork sausage, mix it right up with the rabbit meat. Get your banana peppers, mix it up, make a mess. Oh yes, very nice. I'm really excited for this, I'm just keep smiling. This is gonna be really good. You have some rabbit, some hot pork sausage, some banana peppers that we're gonna stuff right into our rattlesnake. Let's take it out of the marinade and get her stuffed. Get our snake out of the fridge and out of that marinade. Yes, sir. You're only gonna be able to use so much of your stuffing. It's all gonna depend on how big your snake is at the end of the day. This will be really good leftover, put it in the patties, make it in the sausages, use that leftover meat. Don't waste anything that you don't use. I just like to make more of everything up front as I go step to step. I'd rather have more than less. A lot of people like to brown their sausage before they stuff it into say some sort of bird, a turkey, chicken, but we're laying this flat and it's gonna be so thin that you don't need to brown your sausage first. You can if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna cook just fine in the smoker. So get your rabbit and sausage stuffing and start stuffing. Press down right along. The more that this comes together, the more excited I'm getting because of what it looks like and how it smells. This is gonna be prime. Don't leave any gaps. And take your time with this. We ain't in no hurry. And that about right there looks pretty fantastic to me. We used over half of our stuffing, which is awesome. Put it to the side, save it for later. This is gonna be unbelievable. Take off one of my gloves here. And we're gonna get ourselves a cast iron skillet. Get one of my hands dirty, that's all right. And make sure your stuffing's nice and packed together because we are cooking this stuffing side down. And just give her a nice little flip. Beep. And then we're gonna arrange our snake in our pan. Do some cleanup work, make it look nice. Get some of that meat off the side. The snake is just gonna cook right in that sausage and that stuffing and soak it all up. Snake's pretty lean, so you're gonna get some good fat from your pork and from your stuffing. And you're gonna get some good smoke all along the top of our snake. So without further ado, Let's go pop a rattlesnake right in the smoker. All right, y'all, I'm out here at the Gorilla Grill Silverback. I got it going at 250 degrees. I'm filling up the hopper with some hickory pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue to fuel up this smoke. I'm taking some pellets out of the hopper, putting them in my shark barbecue smoker box, torching them up for a few minutes, get them good and charred, then piling on some mesquite wood chips on top, gonna give a good bold smoke flavor to this rattlesnake. For the first part of this cook, we're looking to run our smoker for about two hours. Let the smoker go to work, do its job, and when we hit that time, we'll come out and get to the next step. So it's been two hours. Let's take a look at our rattlesnake. Oh yeah, our snake is looking really good. Now you're gonna get some more of your marinade from earlier, your white divine, Italian dressing, Cajun seasoning, brush it on your snake. Don't be cheap bombing now. Ah, yeah. 
Get yourself some foil. Cover up your pan. And there you go, close her up. So we're gonna let our rattlesnake cook for about another two hours. Let it get good and tender. Y'all, I can't wait for the snake to be done. It's gonna be so good. So when we hit that time, we'll pull it and eat. Well, all right, all right, all right. Our rattlesnake is complete. I'll tell you what, this looks fantastic. Some great color on our rattlesnake. That wonderful scent of that pork in that snake in that white wine, that Italian dressing is just making its way into my face, up my nostrils. It smells so good. So to kind of recap what we did a little bit, we marinated our snake in that white wine, that Italian dressing, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning, and marinated it in the fridge for four hours. Then we put together our stuffing, cut up some banana peppers, some rabbit meat, mixed it in with some hot pork sausage. We put our rattlesnake in the smoker at 250 degrees for two hours, got some good smoke on our snake. Then we wrapped it in foil right in the pan and cooked it at 250 for another two hours. Total cook time for our rattlesnake, four hours. I didn't worry too much about internal temps, but if you're looking for internal temps, shoot for about 170, 175. And man, this looks so good. I just wanna pull off some of our rattlesnake meat. Pull off some of your bones. Remember, these are all ribs going down the side. Look at that right there. Beautiful strip of rattlesnake. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That is unbelievable. We're just pulling, look. Pull that loin, the tenderloin, right off that snake. Unreal. That nice fatty sausage with that rabbit and those banana peppers. Mm, perfect. And again, you're only going to get so much meat off of your rattlesnake, but just pull it off and really enjoy it when you get those good meaty pieces. Mm. One of the meatier parts of the snake right there. Oh. Ooh, come to daddy. Peel off right away from those ribs. Mm, mm, mm. I don't care about the bones. I just want to suck away. Oh, hey, little fella. And you know, I think I say this all the time after I pull something out of my smoker, like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever smoked. But when you have some hot pork sausage with banana peppers and rabbit, and stuff it into a rattlesnake with that white wine, that Italian dressing. There's just not a lot like it. And if you get a chance to get your hand on some rattlesnake, definitely try out this recipe. Put it in a good marinade, get a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there, stuff it with that sausage and that rabbit, put it in your smoker, wrap it up in foil, get it good and tender. You're gonna love it. Thanks for coming out. Stay tuned for the next video. Smoke rattlesnake. Mm-hmm.